ZN Breeders Million Mile, they sent on their way from the 1600 metre marker. Africa Rising tucks away and darts towards that inside as they settle down to raise. First one out is London Call, Unagi is right there, Subtropicals back in third and Scrabbles fourth. Romany Prince, that's the favourite in the White Sorks, is at the rail. Further back is Dawn Calling. Africa Rising gives them about six or seven lengths start, then the Bayou. Further back in the runners, Morning Catch. And then we follow heaps of fun. It's about eight or nine lengths off the leader. Then Intergalactic and Glider Pilot in the back seat. 12, 13 lengths off the leader. And London Call finds itself two lengths in front. Subtropical is in second. Unagi's third. Romany Prince is back in fourth. Then Scrabble and Dawn Calling. Further back, the Bayou. Africa Rising's got seven or eight to make up. Then Morning Catch. Behind that is heaps of fun, Intergalactic. And a long way last is Glider Pilot. As they turn for home and London call with the lead. Subtropical, the first one to challenge. And Argy's on the outside. Romany Prince is going to go through down the inside. Dawn Calling comes out with Scrabble. London Call, Unagi. Romany Prince between runners. Then Subtropical. London Call's going to have to dig deep now. Unagi and Romany Prince. The last hundred and London Call just leads it. Romany Prince is trying to wear it down. London Call is showing a lot of courage. And oh, it's too close. Maybe Romany Prince got there from London Call. Unagi's involved in that photo. Very close. Yes, indeed. Close call, I think. Number two, Romany Prince will just get the decision. Very close, nearest us. The tote favourite at 490. London call showing plenty of courage as they come down to the line. Romany Prince won it. Number two just makes it home, 490 the win. London call number three, ever so gallant in defeat. Unagi runs third. Subtropicals involved then and dawn calling. Further back was heaps of fun. The Bayou and then came Africa Rising. Tote favourite, the winner number two at 490. Orman Ferraris, Peter de Macianos and bred by Rathmore Stud. And yes, London Call doing it all, the seven-year-old, the evergreen showing plenty of courage. But yes, Romany Prince, the Cajal, coming on courageously to record its seventh win from 34 outings. They have a terrific struggle. They get close together, but Romany Prince will win it. There's the salute from Warren Kennedy. They win a close decision in the KZN Breeders' Million Mile non-black type. Back to the studio. Welcome to the Golden Horseshoe here at Gravel Racecourse. What a thrilling finish to the 2018 KZN Breeders Million Mile. It was in the balance right up until the line. Uh, we're going to do a quick uh, few interviews before we do the presentation. So let's have Warren Kennedy join me. Warren, well done. Riding the favourite, obviously big expectations. And the start, he didn't seem that keen to get going. Yeah, Graham, you know, he just lugged out a little bit and a little bit sluggish in the stride, but thank goodness the guys were vying for early position. I could quickly get onto the fence and make up the ground that I lost, and he done that readily. Yeah, because you had to actually get busy with him over the first uh, two, three hundred metres. Yeah, in a race like this, you know, if you, if you miss it half a length, you could end up at the back of the field in the blink of an eye, but he came out a bit sluggish and I was ready for it, and I squeezed him onto the fence and I got him up a couple of positions and into a right spot. Once you got the right spot, he seemed to travel beautifully. Yeah, he was just gliding, waiting for, his, for me to ask him to run. And uh, he actually moved up to Brandon's horse readily, like I'm going to win this quite comfortably. But, you know, the guys after the race tell me, you know, he's got a bit of a short run in. So they waited for after the race to tell me that. But um, he fought down to the line, you know, very gutsy win from this horse. If my memory serves me correctly, Ormond did win this race a couple of years back. Lovely to see you in the Peter Demacagiana's colours. And uh, Ormond obviously couldn't be here with us today. Uh, but with 100 metres to go, you said you thought you had it. But uh, let's, uh, let's give uh, London Call some credit. He was uh, defiant all the way to the line. Yeah, for a horse that's, that's best over six foot on, it's like he ran an absolute cracker. He made me really work to get past him, you know, and great run from him. But my horse was just better on the day. And, um, you know, big thanks to Mr. Ferraris and obviously to Frank. You know, Frank 
two weeks ago, he said to me, listen, I've got the winner of the million mile. Are you available to ride it? And, you know, all pleasure. And Frank said to Mr. Ferraris, put me on the horse. And I'm very thankful to Frank for that. Well, I'm sure the punter's also grateful because you've brought home the bacon on the toad favourite. Let's have a quick chat before we do the presentation with uh, Frank. Uh, in case you're confused, no, this is not Ormond Ferraris. This is Frank Robinson. But uh, he, he asked you to look after the horse for him. You say he travelled beautifully. Yeah, I came down yesterday, and you know, I'm just ecstatic for Mr. Ferraris. You know, I call him the king. He's still the king. He at his age, he's still winning these big races, and the owner, Mr. Dumacastus, he's also been so staunch for the Ferraris, they deserve it, you know. This horse came, he looked fantastic. You're saying to me, all fair, that uh, you owe your first visit here to the Golden Horseshoe to, to Ormond Ferraris. It's the first time you've been here. Yeah, first time I've been here, so I've got to, I've got to learn from the master. Well done, Frank. Pleasure. Right, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We've heard from Warren Kennedy and Frank Robinson uh, deputising for Ormond Ferraris. So we'll catch up with a slow motion replay and then be back with the presentation.